cool breeze had rested upon the forest, followed by rain, making creatures big and small take shelter in the trees and brambles. Snowstorm curled tightly around her two trembling kits, while her ears stayed flat on her head. Her apprentice, Hazelpaw, went on a scent patrol with Nightwatcher, Dustdale, and Honeyball, since the queen said she wasn't feeling well enough to go out. Honeyball said she would guide the blind apprentice around territory, so she could get used to it without her mentor. The other apprentices went out with Brindlefire and Ashfoot to hunt outside of camp. Oakpaw had a very inappropriate word to say about hunting with Beepaw, but was silenced by her mentor Brindlefire. I'm just saying it's ridiculous to take a buzzing bee brain apprentice out hunting, Oakpaw huffed before duffing away from Brindlefire's large paw. The orange tabby deputy glared at the apprentice growling, You need to learn more respect for your clanmates. Don't think Beepaw hasn't been complaining about you being rude to her. Oakpaw laughed sarcastically. <laughs> so, when I complain about her, I get ignored. But when she complains about me, I'm blood pelt. He snapped, his tail lashing behind him. Brindlefire's eyes widened, opening his mouth to say something sharp before being stopped by a fluffy dappled tail. That's enough, Brindlefire. Ash put me out, her tail tickling his nose, filling his senses with her seat, her sweet scent. Almost instantly, the tom relaxed, his yellow eyes glazing upon a yellow, the beautiful she-cat. Ashfoot had her dark blue eyes firmly on Oakpaw, clearly holding back clawing off his ears. Oakpaw? Beepaw is a good apprentice. From what she has let me know, it, she has been through a lot. Losing her clanmates, her mother. I lost my mother too! Oakpaw hissed, his eyes blazing. Callie is still with her two legs. Brunafire reminded him quietly. Beepaw's mother is dead. Killed by her own clanmates. He had coldly. Oakpaw's ears flattened on his head, and his shoulders slouched. Ashfoot placed a paw on the apprentice's head. Beepaw is doing her best to prove herself to Amberstar, Brunafire, and to you. Losing her clan and her kin would destroy anyone's mind. Please, Oakpaw, don't add insult to injury. Ashfoot me out, making Oakpaw's ears perk at her words and look down at his paws. <sighs> Fine, he said in almost a whisper. Without warning, an ear splitting yowl split the air. Ashfoot looked at Brunafire, her expression fearful. Beepaw! Oakpaw yowled, twisting around and lunging into the brambles that tugged at his, thri- his, his thick fur. From what he could hear, Brunafire and Ashfoot cra- were crashing in after him as they raced to find the calico she cat. She, was, she went off on her own to the forest after Oakpaw taunted Beepaw, saying that her claws were too dull to catch any prey, and she disappeared into the bushes, determined to prove him wrong. His heart raced with his paws as his eyes darted around looking for a flash of fur, or maybe her bright amber eyes would be enough to know she was okay. Swiftly, two bodies locked in a fierce battle rolled out in front of him, hissing and spitting as they wrestled. Beepaw let out a cry of pain when her attacker finally pinned her down, pressing hard into her stomach. Snapping out of shock, Opal let out a roar as he leaped at the tom, grabbing a mouthful of fur and sinking his claws into his back. Wait! Stop! An unknown voice pleaded, falling on Oakpaw's ears in vain as he swiped and bit the cat under him. Suddenly, Oakpaw was knocked off the road and pinned down by a wide-eyed, trembling Beepaw. Please, Oakpaw, don't hurt him. He is no friend of mine, she pleaded desperately, laying the tongue up to glare at the road that attacked her. Beepaw, what do you mean an old friend? Brunafar asked, finally catching up to them with Ashford at his side. Beepaw dipped her head to her clanmates. As the rogue stood up wobbly while the other one messed with him, comfortingly looking at the clan cats with a worried glance. They are from my formal clan. Brindlefire, Ashfoot, Oakpaw. Meet Thornpaw and Windpaw, Hollow Clan's best apprentices. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let me take a picture right quick. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Key Sub Gamer here, and we are finally back with the Warriors, with um, Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge. And. I uh, know we are okay. Let me guys get this started. I just left Georgia, and so I'm back. A lot, of, a lot of people screaming right now. Good God. Um. So I know the cutscene, beginning of cutscene, was not about Honeypaw, but I have this new um, generator where I roll and see which cat we're gonna focus on today. And it turns out to be sweet little Honeypaw, and I'm still going. To, we're still going to address what happened with Beepaw and Oakpaw and the two new apprentices and 
and Brindlefire and Ashfoot. We are gonna address that. It's just that I am like so tired. So, oh my god, look at all the seeds. I need to seriously go and I can't wait until I need to seriously go and fix everything. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, but then I don't do it. But I'm gonna do it. At least hopefully, after recording, I'm gonna fix everything. So yeah. Look at all the beautiful kitties. Oh my god. Looks like you- Okay, that's- that's my fault. Go ahead and relieve yourself, sir. And that's also my fault. Relieve yourself, ma'am. Um, go ahead and get these out of the way. Okay. So, we are back with the Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge. And that was a really, really interesting cutscene. And, cause it's- cause- okay. I mean, cause a lot of things happen in the cutscene. Opa finally learns the truth of, you know, B Paw's mother. Cause I feel like the warriors kind of kept that, you know, away from the younger cats. You know, about away from Oak Paw and away from Honey Paw and Honey Paw and the kids, because he didn't want to, you know, make them, you know, feel bad. And I'm pretty sure B Paw didn't, you know, told them not to tell anyone about, you know, her losing her mother and her clan, and so. I'm pretty sure like he knows that she lost her clan because B Paw probably you know brought it up once or twice, maybe. But um, Oak Paw finally knows about why B Paw you know tries so hard to make Brenda Fire and Amber Star and him happy, and she tries so hard, and he all he does is give her crap for it, and he finally realized, oh my God, I am, I'm a bad cat. I am very mean to such. Such a nice cat like Beepaw. And so, as soon as he hears, you know, her scream, her yell, he goes and he jumps and he finds her fighting. He finds her fighting a mysterious rogue or loner, but I guess you could call him a rogue. What, whatever you want to call him. And so he pretty much freaks out and he attacks. He attacks our new cat, Thornpaw. And I had a, a poll up for my amino of, um, if of what Thornpaw should look like. He was either going to be a gray, uh, he was going to be gray, a calico, or this handsome devil. Oh my god. Oakpaw definitely, you definitely have a challenge because he's a, he's all, he's not as big as, you know, Brenda Fire, but he is indeed a big cat. Look at, look at his little look. He is, he, I bet at this time right now, he's dipping his head to Brenda Fire. Like, I am. I apologize for attacking your apprentice. So I apologize for attacking Beepaw. And this is his brother, Thornpaw, and his brother Windpaw. Oh wait, I need to change his name. I just remembered, cause um I this he is my his brother was my first adoptable, and I named and since you know I needed to give him a name like on the spot. I was like, oh my god, what what can I name him? And at the time, I chose Dusty Paw. Cause you know he kind of looked like a dusty paw, but um, um, what, what was I say? Um, but when I realized, okay, Doran Paul needs a brother, and I realized, oh my god, Dusty Paul would like to be the perfect, perfect blend for him, and so, and Paul. So, and they're learners. So when, so this is when Paul, and this is Dusty Paul, and oh my god. I got so close to naming him Apple Paw, cause doesn't he look like the um? What was it was it Apple Paw? Doesn't he look like um? You know the Sims version of Apple Star, except you know like he might have been you know had some of his genetics, or maybe just maybe he is related to Apple Star. Maybe that's why he's in Hollow. Maybe that's why he was in Hollow Clan. Maybe something happened. I mean. They we don't know about their parents yet, or maybe where their parents came from. It could you know. The possibilities could be endless. I mean, like how Siri said, Silver is a very flirtatious cat. Who knows? Who knows? You can make up like any story you want for them. Until I bring out the real story. But I don't know. I don't know the real story. But anyway, so these are the two Toms. The two Toms, well, I was going to say two Toms that attacked her, but really, Thorn Paul is the only cat that attacked her. And, you know, he got kind of hurt. And back in, I'll give you a, kind of a short little, little story of them. They both came from um, Hollow Clan, and they both are hiding a dark secret. 
And they're not gonna, you know, of course I'm not gonna reveal it, but then I'm gonna let you know they're very, very secretive cats. They only talk to each other. They only, you know, give things away to each other. Which will be very interesting when I roll and see if I land on one of them. And they haven't joined the clan yet, of course, because, you know, they just attack an apprentice and this is their first day here. But who knows, maybe they'll join, maybe they'll try to, you know, be a part of Wood Clan. But now he's talking to Brennofire, and I'm pretty sure him and mean, he's exchanging, you know, apologies and stuff. And look at that, look at that claw mark from, um, I don't think he got that from B-Paw. But he may, he may have, because I did put a lot of scratch marks on him. I think I, I think he got, no, he got this one from B-Paw. Yes, he got that little mark on him from B-Paw. The other one is from something else, like... Hollow Clan apprentices are trained very, very harshly. And from what Beepaw has let us know, um, Windpaw and um, Thornpaw, they are they were the best apprentices in Hollow Clan, and I'm pretty sure it's because they're very big toms. So yeah. Go ahead and use the restroom. I'm go pee somewhere. Um wait, you're a tree. You don't need to Well you're a flower, you don't need to pee anywhere. So at the moment, Bee Paw is trying to talk Oak Paw down because Oak Paw is completely angry, and he kind of probably wants to attack again. So he's over here talking to her. And then after that, I'm gonna go on a little hunting spree. Cause we're like I said, we're not gonna be focusing on them today, even though you are probably have like a lot of questions, like what, what, what's gonna happen? Like, if, is Oak Paw gonna attack him or not? Who knows? But, um, we're gonna have him all after he sniffs, he's gonna sniff both the apprentices because he wants to. And interestingly, Brenda Fire wants to talk to Dustail, which is, hmm, it's something. So, I think, is that it? I think that's it. No, 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 don't go home, don't go home. Don't go home. Don't go home. Oh, and the Santa Margaret Patrol just came back to camp. That's why Honeypot is in camp at the moment. Because, you know, the Santa Margaret Patrol, it's not, you know, very long. So they went, they marked, and all of that. And I just wanted to throw something in there. Wait, I'm so sorry, Honeypot. I know this is about you, but I need to, I need to, like, throw one last little fact out there. That will be really interesting to see if people decide to do it or not. Here is an awesome chance for my amazing artist in the thing. In the um, in the comment section, or in my subs subscribe to me, or you know, just a just a little just a little, just a passerby, a wanderer. Um, um, ah, uh, I'm like I have no energy. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Opa, Opa looks like a Halloween cat. I just noticed that, and he's gonna be posted, like, take a picture of him. He is going to be, you know, kind of our, he's going to be like our cat of the month, I guess. Because he's like a Halloween cat. I think that would be really cool if we have like a cat of the month. Like, maybe someone should, maybe, um, someone, anyone, anyone, anyone in the comments section, anyone who subscribed to me or just a wonder, if you just want to do it for fun, why don't you, you can draw, you can draw, um, Oak Paw. And then I can then at the end, at the beginning of my video, of my next video, I will post your drawing. And I don't have any prizes yet, but I think you'll be really nice if Opal has you know a kind of a month dedicated to him. Like all this month, it can just be artwork, fan art of um, Opal, because he looks like a doesn't he look like he'd be all like a Halloween cat? Like just look at him. Did they, did he look, oh my god, he looks so cute. His eyes are so big, it looks like he's still, you know, shocked. Like, he's still probably scolding her, like, I can't believe you do that. How mouse king, how mouse brain could you be? And then, you know, he, you know, hit her with that, and then he hit her with, Are you okay, though? Did he hurt you? Are you, are you fine? Because, you know, after being told that from his mentor, I'm pretty sure he kind of want to light, lighten up on insults a bit. But that's just me. So we had little we have little honey paw. Honey paw, our sweet little honey paw. Finally you get this you get to shine because it seems like you're being forgotten. 
and I apologize for that, my sweet little honey ball. Okay, so let me go to her thing. So, in her traits, she's energetic, manipulative, and she's proud. Which is not really good traits. The manip manipulative, blah, manipulative, which is it's not really good, but it's will be interesting to watch. So, right now, Honey Paul is gonna go stop for prey, or maybe she should. What are you, what are you doing, Tiny Son? We have enough prey. In oh my God! Really? Here, well, we have enough brain power. Why don't you go over and talk to Ti Tiny Sun? Cause you and her, y'all don't really. Oh my God! Give me. Okay, so this is a warning. Wait, is it a warning? Yeah, this is a warning. So go and eat something, please. Please pee. Oh my God! Are you gonna answer it? Answer. It. Answer. What are you do? You're le you're letting the plants die around you. Oh yeah. Come on, answer it. That noise is so annoying. So annoying. Oh my God. Answer it. Answer. Answer. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for a second because that's like, I really hate when phones ring in Sims. It's like the most annoying. Sound in the world. So annoying. Okay. Answer it. Just please answer it. Okay. So we're going to go over to Amber Star. Amber Star is over here. <gasps> There's Rainbow Beals behind you, Amber Star. He was over here pretty much. Pretty much flirting with her again. Can you, how about you? I want to see them nuzzle. Cause I feel like. I feel like he really wants to really improve his relationship with her. You haven't even met him yet, so you can't even befriend him yet. But you're gonna go and catch that rainbow beetle. This is probably like a really friendly nuzzle, like, oh yeah, I need to go and hunt. We can talk later, yeah! And, I think, yeah, I feel like that, that, that would definitely be a type of thing he'd do. So let's see, what do you want to do? She wants to meet someone new. She wants to meet someone new and she wants to catch a turtle. I'm going to see if there's some turtles around here to catch. Oh my god, answer it! Oh wait, did, are they going to nuzzle? Are they going to nuzzle? Are they going to nuzzle? Is she going to like, allow him to nuzzle her? Like, I'm just, oh, just allow him to do it. Please, 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 Blue Dream, please, 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 just a little nuzzle, please. Blue Dream. I love Blue Dream. You cannot, there's no self nearby. Honey Paul, hmm. But no, we're not delivering fresh to anyone, sorry. It's all firefish. It's all firefish. And... Oh my god. <gasps> Honey Paul! If you don't catch this, you know how dangerous that could be? I guess she doesn't want to talk to her mentor. Oh, she wants to talk to... Um... Tyson still wants to talk to Oak Paul and Ashwood. That's interesting. But, Honey Paul, please catch this. Because I have to roll and see if you get poisoned by it if you don't catch it. And snowstorm, you need to go and take care of your claws and making sure all the cats are doing what they need to do. Okay, Dusttail, Dusttail, where are you? You're over here. Look how, I just love how fluffy he is. He's so fluffy. Okay, catch some beetles, because most of, during most of this time, Catch this. But I really do- I'm gonna start giving them reputation, which I really- But not now, because I'm gonna- It'll take too much time for me to like to- Do it on- Oh my god, I forgot about you! I'm so sorry, Tiny- I mean, not Tiny. Oh, I'm so 
sorry, apple spice. You're beside a seed though, so I guess that's okay. Oh, it's a rare unknown seed. It's a rare unknown seed. We'll need this. I really blame myself for all her bladder problems because I was, I was like not paying attention to it. Tiny, I mean, honey paw, honey paw. Did you catch it? We're gonna, for now, we're gonna be trying to have honey paw, you know, fulfill all her wishes and meet someone new. There, are, there is a town. Go on. There's a town full of interest sims, interesting sims for your sim to meet. And your sim wants to meet someone new. Hmm. I have an idea, and I'm pretty sure all you people who submit OCs are gonna like this. I feel like Honey Paul, she she wants to meet someone new, she's gonna sneak out of camp. And I'm pretty sure y'all are gonna have to come back here. Oh yeah, he's he's gonna go scratch something over there. And he's he's you know interacting with him, but Honey Paul, pretty sure. Oh my God, look how look at Snowstorm, she looks so cute. Honey Paul is about to catch this. Mm. Are y'all not gonna nuzzle? Okay, I guess. I'm not gonna force y'all to nuzzle. I waited like a second. I thought I saw her lean for it, but I guess not. I guess. I suppose not. Okay, so, oh, look, look, her son's, is she playing for her son? Is she playing with Smoke Kit? Oh, no, she's clawing, she's gonna go call something. Smoke Kit, what are you doing, then? Oh, he's gonna go call something, too. Why? Yeah, go eat something. Oh, my God, my poor sweet baby angel. Please, we don't, we don't need any kids to get sick and die. But, our clan is getting pretty big. With the new quote-unquote apprentices, we don't know if they're going to join yet. They might just be here temporarily. It depends on their personality and also depends on you. Do you think one paw and thorn paw should stay or do you think they should go? Which would be interesting because they could also maybe go and join the other clan. And the other clan does have a lot less warriors than our clan, than, you know, the clan that we have now, but... It would also cause a conflict with B Paul, but yeah, that that that, hmm, that would be interesting, but probably not because they, I'm pretty sure they're only here for B Paul, for reasons that I that I would not let slip out. This oh, look at cute little lavender. I love how lavender kit is so much brighter than her brother. And I don't mean like that in, in like a mental thing. Okay, she ate it, right? She did eat it. Like I, she she ate it, didn't she? She needs to socialize with someone. Where's her mother? Socialize with your mother. Lavender Kit and Blue Dream. They look like they could possibly be related, which is kind of cute. Okay, so we're gonna have. No, not to you. We're gonna have. Oh my god, Blue Dream wants to sniff Lavender Kit. Oh my god, if that's not cute. If that's not cute, oh my god. It's okay, head. So let's have her, like, have her come over here and sniff her then. Okay, she has to be. Go over here and sniff her. That's so cute. She wants to sniff Lavender Kit. Oh, thank God, Honey Pop caught the assassin bug. Okay, and then Tiny Sun, you just caught a tuna. It seems like all the clan kids are trying to learn how to hunt. Well, trying to well, learn how to fish. Because they have a pond, and they, it, it'd be a great source of food. Like, we're filled with, you know, fat fish. And every now and then a frog. We're going to have her come over here. And socialize, well not socialize, let's have her sniff her. Gonna have her sniff apple spice. She has to be. She has to be. Pee here. And I feel like, okay, so when we have, we roll it for a cat, then we have to make, we have to try to make their needs, like if, if it's possible, we're gonna try to make their needs come true. 
but let's say they don't and we run out of time then we have to delete all their needs so the next time they can't you know we can't start off from you know, the needs that they had last time look how look he looks like a shadow I swear he's terrifying I can't wait until we have like a day with dust dust tail so we can get to know him a little better and have him go over here and try to catch some beetles because that's the only thing in camp at the moment along with a couple of hidden mice we're gonna see if he can catch them she'd be like oh hello oh hello apple spice sorry I, I had I was trying to focus on this apple spice I caught this assassin bug and I know you need them in case of so in case a cat gets poisoned which is definitely something honey Paul you know would would kind of be in a very interject. She tried to be very happy. And that apple spice is looking at her like, oh, yes, this is, ex this is exactly what I need. Thank you, honey paw. And then, you know, oh, look, she wants to talk to... Oh, my God, that's so cute. Then she wants to talk to her. Can you can you hold it, honey paw? Can you just hold it? She wants to talk to apple spice. Oh, that's so cute. Cause you know her and Apple Spice. Apple Spice, no, she he is kin to Apple Spice. But I know this may be a little bit crazy. I know probably you, some of you aren't gonna like it, cause you know this is Sims and you know the Warriors thing. I think Honeypaw has a big, 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 big crush on Brindlefire. Even though you know Brindlefire has his eyes locked on Ashfoot. And he's probably never going to notice, you know, how much Honey Paul, you know, loves, likes him. I feel like it's just a teen crush type of thing. But who knows? Because, you know, in Sims, they aren't related, but in our storyline, they are related. Like, he is, you know, her, he is kin to her. But they are indeed cats, which is something we do have to remember. They are feral cats, and it does happen often in the wild. So I don't think, mo I don't want you guys thinking, oh my god. They're, they're related. We must, you know, riot. Because, guys, in reality, kin and, and like, in many species, kin is gonna, you know, mate with kin. It's, like, kind of, it's twisted, but it's, you know, it, it's gonna happen. Okay, she's eating it. Good job, good job, yes. But, you know, off of that subject, we're gonna have to try to see if Honeypaw can slip out of camp and go and talk and go and um go to the barn because she ha she has she has been to the barn at once and that was off camera she snuck over to, you know just to see you know what's going on and maybe she I don't think wind clan is gonna wood clan not wind clan wood clan is gonna recruit any more cats at the moment because they obviously have a clan filled with cats and it's gonna, you know, kind of go down a bit when, you know, some cats die. And it's gonna be kind of crazy. And, okay, so. We're gonna have her. She she knows, you know, the story. Over here by some other cats. Of, you know, other cats. You know, being here at the barn. And about the kitty pet Angel. Who will be coming to visit the clan. In Leaf Barrel to bring, to possibly bring some food for everyone. Because, you know, she is a very kind cat, and I'm pretty sure she'd want to make sure that her new friends are, you know, well fed. But they, some of them will probably reject it because, you know, she's a kitty pet, and 9 out of 10, she's probably gonna bring them some kibble. Or some, you know, some soft food. Oh my god, all the cats over here. Oh, I forgot! I, I think I added more cats to it, and I didn't introduce you to them. Let me go over them right quickly. So, we all know Deer Neck, and the new cat is Moon Pelt. Okay, don't attack me. Okay, guys, don't attack me. Do not attack me. Because I uh, know some people know that Moon Pelt, Moon, is, you know, kind of like, you know, Stark, it's like a, a forbidden name among cats. But... This cat was born outside of the clans, 
And, you know, she's... She's, you know, she was born outside of the clan, so you can't really say anything. And she's a very beautiful cat, if I do say so myself. She's very beautiful, and I love her. She's so cute. She's so adorable. And I love her very, very pure white pelt. It shines like the moon. And so we have moon pelt, and then we have... Shatter gaze. And then we have... Um, we have... Come on. Golden Bear. Then we have go wait, then we have Beetle Pelt. And I know we have I know Moss Fur um yeah, Moss Fur is somewhere around here. Oh here's the other cats. Here's Moss Fur, here's River Flow, here is Tiger Song, and here is Wild Sky. And there's more cats. And I'm pretty I don't think we should add any more cats at the mall because the game is Lucky, and I don't want you know the game to just to blow up, but you can't add more cats. Oh, yeah, there's a moss. I forgot there's another moss. There's a moss snow, and there's here's golden bird, sir. I'm sorry, Hamilton has my life. I can't. Whenever I hear burr, I have to say sir afterwards. It, it's like it's like a curse. But little honey paw is gonna come over here and visit them. And who knows, she might make some friends outside of the clans. I mean, the clans, they haven't made, like, so solid, they haven't made solid, you know, rules against, you know, cats meeting with other cats outside of clans. Even though, maybe, even though I'm pretty sure Icewing would have dropped it, you know, on his apprentice, like, don't become mates with another Tom, I swear I will come back from the dead and I will claw your, your ears off. It's probably something like that, and so we're gonna have her... We're gonna have her probably over here. Right here. Crap. We're gonna have her probably head out. Okay, so while she's getting talking to her, Brenda Fire is over here. Oh, they're pretty sweet apprentices. Oh, I think they do. I did give them skills. Okay, no. Apparently, I forgot to give them skills. How can you be the best cats in the clan if you don't have hunting skills? Give me a second while I fix this. Ah. Okay, I'm back. I fixed it. So now they both have a decent. They both have four level four hunting, and now I'm gonna make him go and stop for some prey. I feel like they would try to stop for some prey. You know, to show them. Oh yeah, we're not so bad. We're gonna help you. We're gonna help you, you know, getting some. We're gonna help you with the. We're gonna help you with, you know, feeding your clan. Cause I'm pretty sure Brenda Fire is gonna take them back to Wood Clan. Blue Dream, oh my god. My god, it looks like the kit is in the ground. Um, well, I didn't, well, no, what did he just, did he, did, did you get the rainbow beetle, sir? Oh, yeah, little, I, I always forget about little hazel ball. I can't wait until all these cats finally get a chance to shine. Because they almost never, you know, get, here, instead of trying to talk to him, you should tell him to talk to your apprentice. Oh, she wants to play with Brenda Fire, that's interesting. I feel like Snowstorm is trying to get close to the other Toms in camp because her and Jafer, we're gonna, as soon as we have a day, we have a Snowstorm day, we're gonna find out what happened between Jafer and his Snowstorm. Because something definitely went down that made them stop being mates. And, you know, kind of made, made him, I guess you could say, reject his kits. Even though like, it hasn't, you know, been shown, I'm pretty sure he'd, he'd kind of, you know, turn his back from his kids. And that's kind of, that's very mean, but that's something uh, that pretty, most likely would happen. Okay, she's tired. She's exhausted. You can, you can sleep over there. Oh my god, please catch that. We definitely need more prey. We definitely need more prey in the, um, prey pile. 
Well, well, not really, but we do need pray for the for leaf fall. I'm pretty sure they're trying to stock up for leaf fall. But, like she's hissing at the rain. That's that's hilarious. Tiny son. Tiny son caught a jellyfish. Give me a second while I go and roll. Oh my god. Thank god she is fine. Don't be like your brother. Oh the Uh oh. She's she's feeling lonely. Oh lord. I don't think Honey Paula is probably not gonna be able to leave camp today. Because her mentor is probably feeling like, you know, a bit lonely. He's probably gonna come over and try to talk to her. Be like, hey, honey paw. Hey, honey paw, we haven't been talking lately. We need to get acquainted. Well, re reacquainted. Even though she wants to go and talk to some new cats, too. I don't think, honey, I, didn't really, I feel like maybe the thought of going to the barn has crossed over her mind. But, you know, when she, you know, decided, that, yes, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go, um, talk to those, talk to those mysterious barn cats. <gasps> Does still got a spotted beetle. Oh my god, Dustel, go bring it over, bring it over to her. Dustel, bring it over to her. I'm gonna give it to her. Uh, if... And she's gonna pee out. Yeah. I'm gonna let her go and give that to her. And, pot and give her the seeds, too. Cause she did collect a couple seeds for her beloved medicine cat. Okay. I'm like really terrified right now. Okay, you can eat something. Eat the turtle! And then... I need to make like a, a, a sign or a pathway showing where the warrior's tent is cause it always have to search throughout the clan. Where is the warrior's den? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Where the beautiful flowers are. Where I need to get rid of them. <gasps> oh my god, Lavender Kid. I knew something was going to happen to the little, little rain of sunshine. I have to roll for her. I'm not going to pause it. Oh my god. Lavender Kid. Oh, right, Lavender Kid has caught, in, has caught green cough. Which is very fitting, because, you know, she's just standing in the rain, and, you know, all that bad stuff. And maybe, I feel like, yeah, she's standing in the rain, and all that stuff, and Blue Storm, I mean, not Blue Storm, Blue Dream is sniffing her. I was like, are you okay, Kit? Because, you know, I bet she'd start, I bet, you know, she'd start coughing and, you know, huffing and huffing and all that. That's so sad. I just realized she can't go over and talk to Hazel Paul. She's gonna come over and sniff. She's gonna have to come over here and be with her kit. Because her kit now has green cough. Maybe she's gonna have to go over to Apple Spice and talk to Apple Spice about her kit having green cough. I'm gonna roll and see how severe it is. And if it's not that, you know, bad, then it can, you know, disappear without herbs. But if it's really bad, she's definitely gonna need herbs. But, you know, she since she's a kid, she's probably gonna need herbs anyway. Go ahead and be, and looks like she wants to meet, everyone wants to meet someone new. Okay, who's, who can, who can you talk to in the clan? Yeah, you know, since, since her mentor is obviously too busy to talk, to train her, I feel like Azapal would definitely go and bother Amberstar. Maybe, maybe try to pounce, maybe pounce it. Cause she knows, she knows that, um, Snowstorm is, you know, a mother. She, Snowstorm is a mother before a mentor, and, you know, uh, playing cats, you know, are gonna have to realize that. Snowstorm, Snowstorm will always be a mother before anything else. Before a leader, before a deputy, before whatever she becomes, she will always be a mother first. Look at all the... She's like just sitting around rainbow beetles. It, it, do we need to know something, Snowstorm? Because we're just sitting around rainbow beetles. Oh my god, she's tired. Oh my god, okay, I gotta roll for her too. Okay. 
Um, let me check, let me check, let me check, 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 check. Uh, do we check? She is fine. She's fine. She is fine. Okay. Everyone stop getting, everyone stop turning orange. Everyone stop it, okay? Stop turning into Amber Star. Stop turning into two, three. Oh my god, is that the kit? Is that the kitten? Oh my god! Okay, Ashley got a parakeet. Good, Ashley, now you can sleep. She And then she caught a Siamese catfish. Okay. That's so sad. She's screaming. She's like crying out in pain. Okay, she's definitely gonna like forget about all this and you know, go and focus on her kits. On her kitten. Where's Smoke Kit? He is. Smoke Kit is perfectly fine. He's like, oh, I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. Smoke Kit, I would not be so close to the edge if I were you. I mean, it won't. It won't. It might hurt him if he fall. If a cat falls off his edge. Or maybe like get close to the edge. Maybe they have a chance. I should roll and see if they fall off. Cause a war normal warrior it wouldn't phase them. A apprentice it depends like how old the apprentice is. And but a kit, a kit it might since their bones are still soft. It, it might you know crack their skull. It might break their paw. It might do something like that. And dust tail has just improved his hunting. Good job, dust tail. You know, you can... After that, oh, he wants to play with Blue Dream. Ooh, yeah, I forgot that he has a, um, you know, interesting crush on the beautiful blue she cat. I'm gonna have to... Come on, we're gonna have to bring him over here. Oh, look at L. All the cat's motions are moving so slow, I just realized that. Okay, I thought she's gonna pee here. <sighs> really, Rhino Fire? Really? He caught a surface of some snakes and he got so hungry that he ate it. <sighs> Rhino Fire. We should probably bring the cats back from here, but I'm pretty sure Rhino Fire would let Ashfoot rest because Ashfoot is like exhausted and she wants to sleep. But Rhino Fire, come on! Oh, oh, you you already have some hunting. Oakpa does not look happy, and he's going to town on that. Oh, uh, Beepaw didn't catch anything. Thornpaw didn't catch anything. Windpaw caused spiny turtle, but he got so hungry that he ate it. That's definitely Windpaw's, you know, type type of thing Windpaw would do, because he in his traits he is shy, neat, and friendly. When you get to know him, he's friendly. His brother is a genius, he's quiet, and he's proud. And they're both very, very close brothers, and they're not gonna... Most likely, they're not gonna let, you know, any cat get between them. Mm, okay, so she's over here sleeping. Gonna have him... Oh. oh, she's over here making sure her kit is okay. I really wish they didn't have this thing where they could get lonely so easily. Because, oh my god, it makes things so much difficult. Oh, and I gotta roll and see if she got sick, too. Which would, if she did catch cream cough, it wouldn't make sense. Oh. Curse my mouth. She didn't, she indeed did catch green cough. And it's probably because she was talking to, probably she was talking to, um, Lavender Kit, so she caught it from her. So now Lavender Kit and, um, Lavender Kit and Blue Dream both have green cloth, and you're not gonna sleep in Warriors Den, because Dusttail, he may, you know, have a crush on you, but I'm pretty sure if you, if you come up to him all snotty node and eye swollen or whatever, the symptoms for green cough is he's not going to want you to be around him. So we're going to have her come over here. And Lavender Kit, same with Lavender Kit. I really want 
You know what? Since she's with her mother, I think she would feel less lonely. Same with you. Well, you're not even lonely. You're just... There. Same with her mother. She's with her kid. I feel like she'd feel less lonely. Okay, maybe you should let your kit rest. Okay, and he's giving he's giving the spotted beetle to her. And Snowstorm's gonna run over here and tell her that two warrior two more warriors in the clan have just gotten have just caught green cough. You know, for some reason, I feel like Dust Pelt, he'd be like, uh, well, I caught this, and I know cats like you need it. And he'd probably kind of, you know, slide it over or toss it to her. And Apple Spider would probably be like, oh yes, we do need these, because if I don't have these, then cats like you would be dead. Because Apple Spice is a very sassy cat. She's indeed very, very sassy. Uh, it's like a it's like a cat remix right here. So he gave that to her, and so we're gonna have Thornbite. Thornpaw, he's he's hungry. Okay, we'd probably. I still think Ben if I would you know let his quote unquote mate rest since he had that we're gonna go on. Cause you are not hungry, you ate that snake, you should be full. Oh, look at little Windpaw. He's just sitting over there, like, keeping, like, well, he's stalking for prey, Windpaw, really? Yeah, you ate something, too. Stalking for prey? Really, Windpaw? Windpaw is 100% just sitting over there, like, I'm totally stalking for prey, but really, he's just, no. But really, he's just sitting there. Oh, now he's getting up to go get some prey, because he realizes that I caught him. I caught him out. I caught him out. And now she's not coming here to sleep. And she's not going in there and sleep. And Amber Star. Amber Star, what are you doing? Oh! Smoke, smoke, smoke kid is nuzzling him. That's cute. That's really cute. Now I can see why she'd feel lonely. Here, why don't you eat something before you mess with Amber Star? Go in and bother him. I feel like. Hmm. Look at all these. Look at all these like, important beetles everywhere. Oh, look, he wants to play with his brother. You don't know who Apple Spice is yet, but you will. You will soon. You will know who she is soon. And everything seems like everything is coming to a closing, even though he decided, oh, yeah, I'm going to decide not to. Oh, my God, another warrior. Okay, so. Roll. He's fine. She's fine. Okay, they're both fine. Okay, so, you know, give her, give her the... All you need to do is just give it to her. She just made you sniff her. You, I know you'd socialize with her. She wants to play with Honey Paw, and oh my god, he is not okay. Oh no, he's okay. He wrote a 26. He's o he's okay. Okay, and um, he's tired. So, thank you guys for watching. Cause we're gonna go and bring this to an end. Because everything is in the chaos and we are reaching our limit. And I do, I will try to record later, but I need to edit this video first and then prepare it, pamper it to get, you know, thrown out and to you people. And I am gonna, if this doesn't come out first, I'm pretty sure um, Frog Leap's light is gonna come out first. So, we're gonna, what, here's the cat, not, not Tiny's one, here's the cat that we were focused on today. Our beautiful little oh my god she's like surrounded by cats that need her our beautiful little honey paw talking to our mentor I never noticed how big Tyson's head is until now and Peepaw she caught a she caught a kimono dragon good job Peepaw but I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I really enjoy the support that I get from everyone 
and I will a video will be up soon of you know the next episode and I'm still working on generators and the story is still going to continue and don't forget what I said about our new hollow our new Halloween oak paw like oak oak queen yeah oak queen that, that's that's an interesting name instead of Halloween oak queen so you anyone anyone it doesn't have to be perfect draw you can draw a picture of oak paw and um and you can send it to me with my gmail down in the description below and you can send it to me and I will post your picture I will post your picture on um I will post your picture in the beginning of the next video that I post and I will also put it on Amino and you can find me on, on Warcats Amino soft, um, soft paw not soft paw, soft flower and I will be there and we can chat and you can well morning I'm shy and you know we can just talk about stuff warriors what do you you can ask me questions about the cats and I'm not gonna give away anything but I will answer questions it's the best way I can to not give anything away so enough of my rambling I think I like thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit the like button well squish it squish the like button squish it squish the like button and squish the subscribe button and turn on notifications because I really post I post on the weekends, but sometimes I may post, you know, randomly in the... That's not, that's not okay, Tyson. That's not okay. Oh, yeah, and just what you're wondering, Tyson's eyes are indeed dark blue. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Enough of my rambling. And don't forget to draw, um, Oak Queen. And this is K-Sub Gamer signing out breathlessly. Ah, <sighs> goodbye. Oh my god, Venpa, you caught an assassin beetle! Yeah!